Hello guys, what is up and welcome to another FIFA 14 potential ratings video. This time we're going to do Manchester United team, that's the team that I support. We're going to do it in three different videos and um, part one is going to be the goalkeeper and defenders, part two midfielders and then part three will be the attackers obviously. So yeah, we're going to start off sh straight in goal with David De Gea. The Spanish international and uh, he had a very good season in my opinion he started off a bit uh, dodgy with like corners and crosses and stuff he didn't have the the strength to like come out and like push defenders over grab the ball and stuff and he was getting a lot of uh, negative feedback for that off people but he's a really good shot stopper and he really improved in the second half of the season he got 11 clean sheets in 28 games in the Prem uh, he made the actual Premier League team of the year, uh, but not the FIFA, uh, not the FIFA 31, unfortunately. And uh, his head-to-head -head rating is 81. That's an increase of one to his FIFA 13 Ultimate card. I've gave him an 83 rating for FIFA 14. I think that's pretty fair for how well he played. I don't think he's you know, he's still very young as well, so he has a lot of potential to become one of the best keepers in the world. So I've gave him. A plus two on diving, a plus two on handling, kept his kick in the same, we've increased, uh, increased his reflexes to 90, which I think is fair, and speed by two, and positioning by one. So I think he definitely deserves an upgrade. It might be an 82, but I think he deserves an 83. Obviously, I'm a United fan, so I might be a bit biased, but I think he had an amazing season. Next player then is Brazilian right back Rafael, and once again, he was one of the most improved and standout players on the Manchester United side this se last season. He scored three goals and he was very attackingly. Valencia was played very well defensively which allowed Rafael to attack more and uh, yeah he's definitely improved a lot. He's rated 77 on FIFA 13 ultimate team. His head to head rating is 78. I I've given him a plus 4 upgrade to an 81. I think he definitely deserves it. I've given plus 2 to Pace. I've increased his shot by six because he did have a couple of goals and he took quite a few shots and was, they weren't rubbish shots, they were decent shots, always going on target or very close. So I've improved his shot by six. I've increased his passing by three because I think he has got better crossing, he does cross the ball in. I've increased his dribbling by two because he's always running the ball down the wing, overlapping Valencia, always dribbling with the ball so I think he's definitely deserves a plus two there. I've increased his defending by four because once again even though he's improved attackingly he's still got the defending attributes that defender needs and he's very he was very good last season. I would say he's the best in the in the league. Well it was the best in the league last season. Obviously uh Sabaleta for Manchester City was most people say he was the best but because I'm a United fan I'm gonna say Raphael obviously next player is Rio Ferdinand and once again he had an outstanding season for me I think he was one of the best centre backs in the league uh, very very solid very solid at the back he scored one goal I'm not sure in how many points it was in the Prem I think he was the best defender for United last season as I said he was very solid I've increased his pace by 4 to um, 62 I think 58 pace was a bit slow in the first place I think he definitely showed faster pace than that in the league last season. I've increased his overall rating by 1 to 84. I could say it possibly could go to an 85 but I don't think he really like to upgrade older, older players by that much so I think he'll just get the plus one rating. I've kept his shot the same and I've increased his passing by two. I've increased his dribbling by two. I've increased his defence by three and his header in by two. So yeah hope he had a very good season I think he definitely deserves an upgrade and I think most people of that whether United fans or not will agree with me the next player then is Fidic and he was out injured for the majority of the season really and uh, I've decreased his overall rating to an 86 as I said he didn't really play that much and when he did come back he looked like he was a player that just returned from injury and weren't like fully match match fitness match fit fully fit for the games so I've decreased his rating by 3 to an 86 I've decreased his pace by 56 because he didn't look that aware and fast when playing for United 
hopefully he does better this season. I think he will if he stays free of injuries. And I think he will be a very strong defender again at the back. I've kept his shot the same at 42 and passing likewise with dribbling. Decreases defence by 4 and headering by 6. So he'll probably still be a decent defender on uh, FIFA. Obviously people like players of pace and he won't offer that but should still be solid. Hopefully he'll improve next season. The last player then is Evra and I've kept his rating the same at 83. He scored, he was very attacking this season, last season sorry. He scored 4 goals in 34 appearances in the Premier League. I think there were I think all of them were headers. He was very, he was going up for corners. He's not the tallest guy, but he was going up for corners and he was scoring a couple of goals. Defensively this season, though, I don't think he was as good as last season. I think he sometimes uh, made mistakes at the back. But I've kept his rating the same and just changed some of the stats around. I've kept his pace the same at 79. I don't think he's got any slower. I don't think he's got any faster. So I think that's really fair. Could possibly go up to 80, but I'm not too sure. I've increased his shot from 51 to 54 because as I said he scored 4 goals and he was going up for corners and stuff and uh, trying to get on the score sheet. I've decreased his passing by 1, dribbling kept the same, decreased his heading, uh, defending by 2 sorry, and I've increased his heading by 2 so as he did score a couple of headers which is why I've done that. I hope, let me know what you guys think of these ratings, hopefully you agree, some of you may not everyone has their own opinions but from what I've seen last season from United playing I think these ratings are realistic possibly a few changes but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like please comment as well players you want me to do in future videos uh, the next video will be the midfielders for United obviously and then the attackers and then I'll do what players you ask me to do if not I'll just go through players that I would want to use or players that not many other YouTubers are going to be looking at. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, thanks for watching and I shall see you guys later.